Well, we're going to start off the podcast for today's episode. Uh, With a message. I found, oh. I, I found something on Twitter. And uh, I very I'll make it the I'll make it the thumbnail for this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, basically, we it was probably gotta... made by some fucking incel who thinks <laughs> that they're shit. <laughs> This is you know. the life of an unmarried woman. <laughs> and it's I honestly all these I little Wojak pictures and then walls of tags. Yeah, I also don't want to read the lolly one because I feel weird because it's the age range is ten to fifteen, <laughs> and that just makes me feel off. Should I just start yeah. with the jailbait? Should I just start yeah, with the jailbait? Yeah, okay. Bait so there's an that age that's ten to fifteen on here. It says pre-wall lolly ten to fifteen, and it's a picture of like. Wonder Woman as a child. And it's, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to read that one. I'm not going to read that part. <laughs> start, so at, gonna... start at uh, 15 to 20. That could We could easily say that's 18. Well, we'll just say it's 18. Jail bay. <laughs> this is when titties start filling and breeding starts happening. Girls become women and discover sex. What the fuck? Did... <laughs> as well as how they you can use their newfound sexuality to manipulate men and farm orbiters. The one thing that bo- bothers me is the fact that it says breeding. Breeding. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That hurts the few me. words you have said have been bad, but that e- makes it even worse. Well, that's it makes it you horrible. know this isn't even a quarter of it. Come on, this dude. isn't this is this is me just you gotta start. strap in. This is when most women will lose their virginity and start trying out their new pussy pass. They will oh. usually date older men in their late teens to early twenties. They can still be salvaged. What the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, what is Bruh. that? Who made oh. this? What account? What, can you say what account you found this on? Uh, I don't know what the account I found this on. I just clicked. Okay. I just copied the image and pasted it. Uh, I can right. look through my history and I'll figure that out. No, I'll, you can do I'll it later. Yeah. Uh, so, age twenty to twenty-five, Stacy, which is the Wojak. Like, I'm gonna do the ghosty thing. Jordan, yeah. Jordan you want to read female dating strategy? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Women this age are now slaves to attention on social media and from men. This is by far the best time in a woman's life as they are at their sexual prime. All men ages 20 to 50 will compete for her affection in hopes that she will marry them, but she still hasn't finished her turn on the cock carousel yet. Stacys are usually college students and will mostly ignore men under 30. If the Stacy is smart, she will marry a 30-year-old husband and, s- and be said for the rest of her life. Brittany Venti, Brit- Brittany Venti, call me 1-800-273-8255. I feel like that's like a bait number. Um, however, what, what the fuck? Uh, I don't. That one was. I, who made this? You okay? Why did they make? Why was cock, this made? Cock carousel. Who the fuck? Who the All fuck? All right, it's this? it's time for twenty five to thirty. The roasty. The roasty is an o- older, worse version of the Stacy. Is no longer attractive, and her hedonistic lifestyle is starting to catch up to her. She's really happy, and thinks it's so- the solution to this is popping happiness pills. This stage is the calm before the storm. The point of no return, you see. If the ghost <laughs> it does not. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine like the Joker wrote this. Yeah, like the, the ghost does not wise up before the wall. She you know, will like condemn society. herself to the life of unhappiness and misery. Most of us, most in this stage, will never correct the error of their ways. There is a small chance. <laughs> I think it's kind of kind of funny how you said most of us. <laughs> I say most of us. You said most of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, most fucking of us. Okay, so this is the post Jordan wall. Kid, yeah, I don't know what the wall is. This is pre wall and post wall. Jordan, you I don't start know. off the post wall. Well, what are you looking at? First, it's, in it's in general. It's in general. Oh. It says r slash female dating strategy, and it's another Wojak. <laughs> That's not it. What is it on? It's in general. <laughs> Where in general? Is it top hole, green home? No, it's the yeah. life of an unmarried woman. It's the picture that we've been <laughs> describing for oh, however this. long. <laughs> what? 
Where is Lover Long? Okay, Jordan's just taking too long. I'm gonna where do the, our slash female rating it? strategy. It's in what general. I'll just I'll just, read it. I'll just read it. I'll just read it. I'll just read it. Okay, yeah. From age thirty to thirty five, the first stage of grief is denial. Women this age do not want to admit their situation, so they lie to themselves and others online in an attempt to to cope. Now that they've had the best dick they will ever get, their standards are high as hell. And at the same time, now that they've lost their beauty, no alphas will give them any attention anymore. No oh, alphas. None. They oh, are now experiencing no the, same, the same treatment they gave to men in their 20s, and they can't handle it. This is the final opportunity for women to find a good beta to marry and leech off of. <laughs> Fat good women beta. of any age will enter this stage by default unless they lose weight. What the fuck? Okay, okay. You can tell that this was made by an obese man. Yeah. You can tell. Some guy, <laughs> some, fucking... they really, some guy really hates himself, so he made yeah. This took so... This must have took him so long. How much effort does it... So he made a... Okay, okay. So first he makes this nice kind of colorful background, right? Like, you know, this yeah. nice little background? Okay. Like then he makes, Photoshop like, a gritty. timeline. Yeah, he makes, yeah, he makes a timeline. Cool. Then he makes a timeline. Like, you know how you make those on fucking... Just like, like grade school. It, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's like a it's like a Word document timeline. Maybe he made this in fucking Word. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, probably. But how is he going to get the PDFs he in there? And found all these little pictures. Formatted? And then he yeah. wrote... It. Like three paragraphs for each picture. No, it's a paragraph. It's one solid paragraph per picture. And there's eight. Two. There's eight though. There's eight paragraphs. It's the only one, Bojack. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, the Wait, first, Wonder Woman. The first two aren't Wojak. The first one is Wonder Woman. And the second one is a screenshot. The reality of their situation, but it is too late. These women have coasted their entire lives on looks alone. And have neglected every other aspect of themselves. They no longer have anything to offer to the world. And probably never will. Now in the time, women will finally lower their standard. But it doesn't matter. Not even to the beta orbiters will pay them any mind. They will resort to blaming men for not growing up. <laughs> you can tell the guy that made this has like some kind of dommy mommy fetish and he's been rejected a couple times. <laughs> Should I do the, uh, the next one? SOS. This I like... is like the face of pain. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. Oh no. No, no. no. Jesse. Just like desperation. Desperate. It's desperation, just like, just it's like. desperation time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all standards are through. All standards are zero now. These women will literally touch anything with a pulse. <laughs> it's pretty funny how unmarried men and women, <laughs> women seem to age in opposite directions. Fem cells do exist; they only exist past thirty. <laughs> Virtually no women at this age oh. that any women will ever. Be attracted to outside of some disgusting dude, fetish. Dude, I just, but, I just realized what post wall means. <laughs> what does it mean? Because past thirty, that's that's when fem cell starts. That's that's oh. what that means. That's when they that's when they start becoming female incels, quote unquote. But what is the wall thing? I think the wall is in reference to like how there's a very large deviation, like a very this is large before difference. and after they listen to Pink Floyd. Yeah, this is before and after they listen to Pink Floyd. After they listen to The Wall, everything goes wrong. Yeah. <laughs> everything changed when I listened to The Wall. Damn. Look at that faux head. But keep going. To, sorry. You mean to control? Uh, I didn't finish. Oh, you oh. did not? No. There do yeah. exist a, a rare few unicorns at this age and beyond somehow managed to evade The Wall. 
based Kimfu Reish Seahorn. What is, I think the wall refers to like social liberation? What the fuck? Based? I don't understand. How many fucking levels, how many layers of iron? I don't, is there any irony here? I don't know. What's the read of the lifetime? It's so gay. I'll, I'll read the Lifetime original movie. Yeah, from ages Jesse's 40 got to 50. this. <laughs> the final form of the unmarried woman. This washed up whore will spend the rest of her <laughs> miserable life trying to escape it. You sound she like Duke fall. Nukem. Just go full <laughs> Duke Nukem for this. She will fall further and further into her food addiction and alcoholism until she eventually dies from them. She watches dog shit feel good movies movies that all have the same fucking plot about a young self-insert pretty girl that finds some rich older chad that she fucks and marries escapism is the only way that this woman can find happiness outside of it she will become a massive bitch it is hard to feel bad for her though she is the only one that shows this life for herself <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What okay, I... my screensaver turned on. What the heck? I can't fucking. Yeah, what is this thing that we? I mean, okay. Yeah. Stereotypes are kind of funny. Like, I get that. That's it's. It could be a this joke. Was... This it's could be a meme. Like, ironically, this could be it fucking be ironic, and I hope this it could... is. This could have been funny. This could. I hope. This isn't funny. This feels like. Because a lot of these aren't jokes. A lot of these aren't like, actually jokes. But you gotta like, know. This is like somebody trying to make a psychological analysis of women like from they, the ages of, what, and 10 then, to So 10? what they do is it's, it's a mimetic virus. Yes. So they, they make, they say all of these things, all these, like, terrible things about women. <laughs> yeah, and then make it into a meme. But they, they're serious about it. Yeah. So they spread it, and then that, even if you disagree with it and you read this, it's still in your head. Yeah, I know. So wh but, when you think about women now, this is going to be part of that, whether you realize it or not. This is part. When I, when I think about women, I'm going to think about a fucking side-scroller RPG on the fucking side of my head. Like, just reach out <laughs> and touch it, and I'm going to fucking grab this image from the sky. Pull it up into my fucking okay. eyes. I'm and gonna just grab see this image and an stab myself woman. in the eyes. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> stab myself in the eyes. I'm going to I'm going to take whatever is around me and I'm probably just gonna shove it right into my right ear. And just hope. <laughs> just hope. <laughs> shove it into your ear. <laughs> Not my left ear. I know my right side is my lucky side. That's that's just how it works. Um, <laughs> you know, just the nearest object. <laughs> just try and get it into my right ear. But now, now that we're done with that topic, I hope <laughs> I hope we're done with that now because I think we've melted as hard as we can. Yeah, I think we've done all that. There's not really that much. There isn't. To even we talk can't, about. We can't. I don't really want to go into the funny socioeconomic policy and whatever. Like, yeah, how third wave feminism is bad because it makes women <laughs> do things. I don't fucking know. I hate that. It's stupid. Like, what's the uh, fucking point? It's just liberation. But, uh, anyways. Being let's talk, stupid. Let's talk about What should we talk about? George, uh, you want to talk, talk about, about an 18th century French peasant? Oh, sure. Yes. Yeah, sure. Tell us. Tell us the story. Tell uh, us the story, Jordan. Have you heard of the man only known as Terrare? Yes, I have, actually. <laughs> I have, okay. I tell the story. Tell the story. Tell us, tell us the story. Well, well, as I've already said, he's an 18th century French peasant. The thing is, he had this giant, disgusting, gaping mouth with stained teeth, mm -hmm. and and a bloated, disgusting like stomach flap. Yeah. So, so you're describing like the average Britishman, right? <laughs> this guy is in French. There's no way. He's British. He's got a disgusting stained teeth. <laughs> <laughs> just got a stomach flop. 
Okay, keep going. Well, Terari, well, he ha- ate, like, to such a g- degree that he could eat a fourth of a fully grown cow in a day. In a day? Yes. A That's, of like, a cow. 300 pounds of meat. <laughs> I don't want to name drop right now, but I can't. <laughs> really badly. We all know who we're talking about. I think, I think we all know what we're You can type about. it. You can type it. Uh, he also was horribly smelling. Okay, even for yeah. French peasant standards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Terrare. Interesting lad. Didn't he, like, eat a whole whole eel? Like, he ate just a lot the of entire... Things. Yeah, just eat a bunch of stuff like I'll newborn talk about babies. That later. <laughs> um, let let him continue. Out when he was a teenager, yeah. because they because his parents literally could not feed him enough. Yeah, and mm. he traveled around and eventually became a showman because um he would eat literally anything people gave him. That's what a From lot of these spoiled people did. wine to literal cork. Oh. <laughs> Well, the people that would just eat stuff, they would basically, they'd just do shows because they were like Irish people. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't know exactly when, but there were these Irish guys that went, they would just go to a bar and get really drunk and then eat cats. <laughs> like entire cats. Eat an entire fucking <laughs> cat. And they'd be in the like, did that but too. But you can't eat 17 cats. How about you can't eat 17 cats? But you can't eat 20 cats. <laughs> One of the guys that was yeah. listening to yeah, last podcast the on the army. left when I heard about this. Ferrari yeah. joined the army and they and he was so hungry that even with like double or triple rations, he ate piles of garbage. He was just a hungry little boy. He yeah. just needs some good then food one soon. day, his um, his commanding officer got the great idea of um, of hiding a message within his stomach. Well, I, get, I bet that worked. <laughs> so they gave him a wooden box, told him that if he ate it, they would give him a wheelbarrow full of like bull organs or something. And then a few days later, the box came out intact. <laughs> So they sent him in, into Germany and um told him to deliver a package to um an incarcerated like general. Yeah. The thing is, um this man stunk to high hell and well, had a habit of mutilating small animals. Yeah. And then eating them. So he was arrested. <laughs> and My... um coughed up the information. Okay. <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, he literally, he literally, he literally coughed it up. Oh, no, he shattered out. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I get that. Um, then, but the note he delivered didn't have any important information on it. They gave him a fake exit and then just sent him on his way. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm not done. I'm not, okay, I'm okay, about, Jordan, I'm going to have to ask you to ta- stop because I, I know where this is. Exactly what yes. yeah, I've seen. This. We've all seen <laughs> We've all seen the video. Okay, yeah. So I was taking my yeah. broom away. We just come out of the parking lot. The cop was like trailing behind somebody in a van, which we found out was one of our teachers. Um, yeah. And, and uh, another kid pulls up behind her. So we get up to the we get up to the bus. This the cop was across. following. Us. Kind of, uh, yeah, he was like following like the whole group for like a minute. Uh, so. We come up to the to the fucking okay. So I'm on the I'm going on the right on the right lane. This this uh bus is on in the left lane. Kid walks across, stop sign is out. Pull forward. Yeah. Get about halfway through the bus, the stop the bus sign just swings honking. out. Okay. 
they so, honk? Stop sign swings out and the bus starts honking. So I stop. So the cop pulls up. I stop. The cop pulls up. And we just, I just, just drive away. We just wait for a second, you know, we just wait for the kids to pass. And uh, I actually ran this by my mother. Turns out I, I wasn't in the wrong. The person behind me was because they ch- attempted to keep going afterwards. And I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think the cops saw us, which is a very cool <laughs> thing. Um, however, so we, after the, after the bus gets, gets going, I'm like, dude, we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so we, so we, so we did. Stop that as as possible, take a right. And then we, we got see, out. left, we got out of there. And then the cop car, I was just kind of like anxiously waiting to see what was going to happen. It was either going to turn right, follow me or follow the other person and follow the other person. That was the most relief I've ever felt in my life. Yeah. <laughs> we saw it. The cop pulled up to the turn that we just took and go the other way. Oh, oh. Never in my beautiful. life it was just oh good god, oh my lord, <laughs> just that <laughs> feeling of relief just kind of swept through my entire body, and uh, I don't I don't really want to pay three hundred dollars for something that I didn't technically do because yeah, that way- one kid, uh, yeah, yeah, he got the three hundred dollar fine for I guess he passed in a place he wasn't supposed to pass anybody, yeah. <laughs> Even though is is that actually like properly signed? Like, is there signage for that, or is that just not there? Because what the do you line, mean? Like the lines on the road, they are the lines are almost gone. There it's are hardly... no lines. There is basically no lines, and they look like they're dotted. Yeah, so, I mean, but makes you sense. can't pass there apparently. Really? <laughs> I guess yeah. that's now evident because some kid got fucking arrested <laughs> or pulled over and fined. Yeah, he got pulled over and given a three hundred dollar ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn. But yeah. That just that shit just fucking happens. And I I don't I don't know. It's it's the quotas, dude. You told me about this. It's the quotas. It's I the don't quotas. Have, actually know how the quotas work. That's just like a buzzword I heard. I, I know. do know that a lot a lot of places the police have quotas for how many people they need to bus. So I guess I'm guessing the easiest way to do that is to go to this the school. Where people are newly driving. Yeah. And then, well, you I know, mean, they're going to mess up. We've seen this strategy enacted on multiple occasions. We see it. it happens. The cops yeah. are always at our school. Like, yeah, they're just, crap. They're just constantly around. I remember uh, some fucking girl got, got like, taken to juvie because they fucked <laughs> her ass. <laughs> like, straight up. Some girl snitched on her. During class, because she had something, and then they went out to her car, and she had like two thousand dollars worth of drugs and alcohol. That's, why would in her what car. are you gonna do with that? That's so much. It's just idiotic. It's like, holy... Why you even do that? It's not worth it. It's, it's not. No. <laughs> quite, quite frankly, no. It's not worth it. It's just stupid. Why the fuck would you carry that shit on you? Like, what's the point? To school. Well, if you're gonna do that, for one, that's location. your that's your own bad choice. For two, I'm going to school, bro. Why? You're in. You're at school. Why are you doing it at school? Of all the places, like, of all the times, of all the of all the things you could do at school, you go into the fucking bathroom and you suck on your little weed pen. <laughs> your little weed pen. Freaking oh, yeah, idiots. I I love that feeling, guys. I love that. And then, and then they just fucking, you know, doing high drugs is this freaking stupidest thing. It's Why are you doing that to yourself, man? Just improve yourself, lol. Start, start. Instead of avoiding what you're thinking about, just accept it. You'll be a lot better off. Like to be fully frank with you. At least that's what I. That's how I came to terms with things. I, I mean, just. Ugh. Think so logically that you can only come to logical <laughs> conclusions about your mental health and just be like, yo, suicide's fucking stupid. Yeah. I only live once. <laughs> I only live once. How would I do that? That's not a good idea, bro. It's just stupid. You just gotta stop. Just stop. You go, you dig, don't dig yourself into a deeper hole than you're already in. Like these kids do. They, they go in the bathroom and then they do that and then I get suspected of it even though I'm not retarded i like my lungs for one i like being able to breathe i like not having cancer 
I like I like the idea of not having fucking popcorn long, you know? Yeah. Uh, of yeah, course, you... the, our principal, I'm not going to call him out, but I'm going to call him out. And he watched me pee. He watched me take a piss. I was going to the bathroom. He was just standing there watching me, and I made eye contact with him, and I held eye contact because I wanted him to leave. And he did eventually leave after I finished. But it was, I didn't like that. It was uncomfortable. It wasn't did cool. You just... He just made eye contact with you while you took a piss. <laughs> that guy's a fucking weirdo. That's that's I why I uh, that's whenever I go into the fucking bathrooms and I take a piss in my school. I can't fucking do it in the actual like whatever. Yeah, you got you got to use the stall. You got to use always, the stall. Yeah. I don't I don't want the fucking principal coming in while I'm taking a fucking piss and just because like, he thinks you're jeweling or whatever. Yeah, no, jewels aren't even fucking relevant anymore. Apparently. They're gone. I don't know what it is, bro. It's that's all stupid. I've just I don't know, dude. Why? Why are these kids doing this? I don't fucking know. It's because it's because it's because their parents don't look after them. I suppose it it's doesn't because... make them cool. They think it does, but it just makes Mommy, them look like they're going nowhere. Mommy and daddy don't pay enough. We attention. are just going nowhere. We don't have to look cool to do it. We're we're going nowhere <laughs> faster. Yeah, we've. <laughs> Doing pretty yeah. good. We're doing we're doing a little bit better, you know. Maybe we'll actually make it into a college, right? <laughs> but the thing is, though, a majority of those people who who like vape and smoke whatever the fuck, they're they're in a lot of like athletic activities. They're like very heavily involved in athletic, sh- and they're yeah. like, they're supposed to be peak physical condition, and they do. This <laughs> but they're ruining their lungs. Yeah, they can't Killing breathe. Themselves. They li- they literally cannot breathe during fucking practices because they vape too much, <laughs> and they're like, "It's so funny, it's so funny." Because I to think about they're just doing that. Yeah, no, like I legitimately have like a uh, an issue with like uh, the way that I breathe. At least I used to when I was younger. I had some sort of issue where my if I ex- if I breathe too heavily, my throat will literally start to contract and it will suffocate me. Like. <laughs> Like extremely high okay. intensity exercise where I breathe ex- really heavily, I will straight up just be unable to breathe, like temporarily. And, and the, why did I just say like? But <laughs> with that, <laughs> like during during wrestling practices, they they thought I had asthma because after fifteen second sprints, which was just hell, it was like four or five minutes of just basically. Run down back, down back, fifteen oh, seconds. Yeah. Wait, fifteen seconds. Down and back. Ha- if, isn't that like if you don't make it, they make you do more? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't play sports because of Obama. <laughs> Fair enough. That is the actual reason. Yeah, because Obamacare Obama was so messed up sports. that <laughs> Obamacare was so messed up that it's just can't afford health care. So then, like going into sports is just too dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so. you're afraid of herniating a disc, breaking a leg. Because then, what are you gonna do? You don't, can't pay the hospital bill. You just fucked. You gotta, you gotta pay. You gotta suck some people off. That's how you do it. That's how, that's how politicians do it. You know, that's how they get into fucking DA positions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to become a district attorney if you're a young black East Asian woman. Mm. <laughs> And it, you, you just gotta find a nice married man in power. Yeah, and he'll make you the chief of police somehow. Not my words. Not my words. I'm not saying this. These are my words. But I'm saying, like, you know, if you just want to be the district attorney of California, you know, it's all you gotta do is get a little of that, you know, get a job away. You know. <laughs> <laughs> What should we? What is there to even talk about? We're like losing it, man. We are losing it very heavily. What? Uh, what's something? Jordan, what do you got? What do you got for us? What do you got? Jordan, what do you got? Silence. I'll tell you what I got. Um, I got um AIDS. a slightly rusted penny. He's got AIDS. He's got AIDS. He's got AIDS, guys. Uh, what about what about the time when an entire section of okay? So this is this is my story, but also impartially our friend's story to tell. Okay. Um, well, let's start off on Friday. <laughs> let's start off. 
So I'm gonna have a D and D session with a fucking group of oh, people. Oh, oh yeah, oh, talk yeah. about this. Talk about this. Oh, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> So I, I have a D and D session plan, right? You know, I got a couple guys, like majority women. I mean, like three women, I think two or three. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a good does, amount. Does, uh, does the does the femboy count as a woman or not? I, yes, I think so. He brings it yeah, up to so four. We'll just, we'll just see. No, no, no. It's only it's three. Cause that's who I was considering a woman. Those were the three women of the group. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, that that kid. Um, so me and my can I do I say uh, Did you yeah, end I'll up feeding the say, uh, them? I'll say uh I'll say uh what am I gonna call? You'll him? say uh, uh, I'll just call him token. Well, uh, basically So I'll call him token. So me and token, uh, as well as Jordan, <laughs> we uh, we're sitting in the lobby and we see two fucking girls. One of which is a part of the group. The other one is just a friend of the of a friend that I a friend of Token's friend. Why do you call him Token? He's white. Because <laughs> because I don't know. I don't want to call him by his actual name. You don't have. You call he him is like the whitest a, person I've ever seen. He is the whitest person we all know. Uh, okay, I'll just call him by his name. So, so yeah, Pierce. Me, me, Pierce, and Jordan. We're just fucking sitting out there in the lobby. Fucking. Uh, I'm just, I don't know, this fucking... That's it? Doing That's what you're doing? Yeah. We're sitting out in that lobby. These, these two fucking girls, they come out. They come out of the hallway. Uh, one of them's gay. They're both giggling. They walk over to us. Pierce is like, yo, uh, you sure your mom is, like, really against this? And she's like, yeah, no, my mama, she doesn't want me to come. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. That's what she said. Like, Alrighty. So me, Pierce, and Jordan, you know, we just sit there for a little bit. We collect ourselves, watch them walk out. Uh, we're just talking about some fucking stupid shit. Uh, we walk out to my truck. Pierce says, "Oh, I, well, not well, not currently at the time, but later on, he tells me she was kind of shrinking down into the seat, like she was trying to hide from us, like, like they she were was trying, trying to give her boy a road head while she <laughs> was driving." <laughs> <laughs> That's um, the funniest thing I can think of right now. It's not. 